Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survivalist, and we return to Minecraft. Where I was saying last episode, I wasn't sure exactly what we would really be doing in the series, but at least we got a little bit of direction now. We got some iron on the go, granted not a lot, and we still have to make a bed, because order of operations, resetting your spawn point is a pretty good thing to have happen, so it'd also be nice to skip some of the nights where we're not doing much of anything. But house is all built up, we've got ourselves basically set up for when things start moving along. And I think our big goal will be trying to find and take down the Ender Dragon. The only thing is, I do not know the order of operations to go through for that. So, nope. I'll make sure we get that, and... I almost wonder if I should make a little... ...downstairs for us. Just so that way we can, like, do something even as the night's going. Okay, four. I'll take those. Try to remember, I think it's... Or is this to make a gate? Okay, now that's the gate, so we need the other way. Yeah, there we go. I just want some railing around, basically, to our basement there. And we're basically just going to use this as an area to dig down and do some exploring and see if we can... F oh. Well, wow, speak of finding things, there's some coal we actually could use. So, we'll dig that up. See what we can find more of there. And yeah, we are probably also going to look at taking a trip to the nether using that portal we have found. In the other place, or, well not other place, but just not too far behind us either. Just in the marshland there. It's mostly set up. We, I think, just have to replace a couple of obsidian blocks in there and then light it using a flint and steel. Which we actually probably still need the iron for, although we may have enough iron just sitting with us idly. Okay, so now... Yeah, I better just... just for the sake of making this look a little nicer... Replace our way down with these. Okay. And right, speaking of that, we'll make a few more of those. One, two, three. Okay, and keep going on our way down. We'll hopefully find something as we keep going. Oh, that's gravel. Oh man, there's another bit of flint that we'll probably need. Okay, and let's just make a little spot for the next torch. And then just clear some of those out so we can keep things going. I don't know how far down we'll really go with this. I basically just want something that way we can keep working on as we're... ...killing the time until daylight arrives, and then eat- well, actually, even then, I'm not even sure what we'll be doing in the daylight. Well, that sh seems like an okay-ish start. I really should get more wood so we can just make that a stairway down. And- oh, actually, we do have... Probably gonna have to do a little bit more clearing out, just so that way this works as it's intended. Ah. Nope, wait. That's the one I need to... Okay, so take care of you, and you. And that one. Okay, and then just... Have to do a little bit over here with these last two pieces. There we go. So that's set up to be going down a little more. Okay, so. Nope, oh, sounds like we do have a spider somewhere nearby, so. Oh, and a creeper. Actually, yeah, the creepers don't make noise. Well, except when they're gonna blow. Please don't blow. No. 
No. There we go. Oh, some gunpowder. We may even make some TNT with the stuff we get. Okay, off the house. There we go. Okay, so now we want to get some tr some more wood so we can kind of just make the little ramp down a bit nicer. We're definitely going to have to get a lot more iron because, well, diamond is probably the best thing to be aiming for, like, material-wise to get us all stocked up and then eventually towards the... Well, probably multiple steps towards actually getting towards the end. If I remember right, you gotta find a stronghold and a bunch of... Ender pearls? I can't remember what the hell those little things are called. You stick them in, then there's a portal, then you go through, and something, something... There's probably also a specific way to fight the dragon, too, so... More than likely, I'm going to have a lot of mistakes and mess-ups as we go along. I also do need to try to find some sheep, so we can properly make ourselves the, the bed. That's one of our main goals, because I'd prefer not to wind up... Well, we basically had... Last episode? And it's been a while because I Minecraft once the series is one of the series that I can thankfully do sort of like little blocks or chunks of it and not worry too much about keeping quite in tune if there are comments for it. It's more just a series of, it's one of my laid back to do series in a way. Like there are some that oh hey pigs. Actually uh you know what? Maybe we will. We could use some of the pork chops we can get from you guys. There we go. And, yeah, I could probably use the cow, too. Whether it's your leather or your steaks. Now. Oh, this area is really dense with these trees. There we go. And you're next. You kind of got yourself stuck there, so that was helpful. Never really seen these kinds of trees before. Like, they're soup. Like, the four blocks for trunks are even more quite intimidating. Okay, but nothing really in... Oh, no, I was going to say nothing really in here, but... Ow. Ow. You suck. You really suck. There we go. Okay, well, that's taken care of. And still no sheep that I can see through the trees. Another pig. And what do we got over here? Oh, more marsh sort of land. Nope, better eat so we can restore health. I was really hoping we would have found a sheep a little easier, just so that way we can get that bed made and have our home base basically set up. Okay, and get that. So how much wood is that? Okay, that's more than enough wood to keep us going, so we can head back using that. I really was hoping we would have gotten lucky with the sheep like the other... Nope. Okay, well, that's just an interesting little area. Can we see anything on the side of this? Ah, uh, there is some coal exposed, but nothing really more than that. Now, I was kind of hoping we could find, like, maybe a little bit of iron sticking out. What about over here? Oh, this is kind of an interesting tunnel. Although I don't know if it'll really lead to anything. It does go for quite a way, though. Oh, it does go to somewhere. It might actually be worth it to take a little bit of time to explore... Oh! Explore this area. Hello, Iron. You are actually what we were hoping for. Oh, and you're a good vein of it, too. Okay, so that sounds like it was from above me, and they don't have a way down, so we're at least safe right here. Okay, so we're probably going to need... Yeah, uh, you know what, we'll go for an iron sword just because we did find some iron. And get the rest of this out of here. Yeah, this was a really nice vein of it. 
And we'll get a little bit more coal too, so that way we can get some more torches. It sounds like there are a lot of them right above us. Definitely a lot of them. Oh. Oh, Lord. Hi. So there you guys are. Well, at least you can't get through that, so we'll have a way to smack a number of you. Okay, okay. Iron sword. Yeah, we'll be ready to replace that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's just... Not the brightest things, are they? Okay, so there's that sword gone, but we got this one ready. There's another one taken out. Oh, let's not go over there too much, because that might be an area where they'll drop in from. Okay, so let's get the iron that's right here. Uh, this seems to be your best bet to find materials, is forget about digging randomly yourself. Just find a, like a tunnel or something and go down it. Oh, speaking of... Oh shoot, just saw you coming in from the corner of the screen there. No. You die. No. Now. Okay. Some more TNT. Okay. Oh, little bat just kind of fluttering around. And I thought I had seen... Okay, maybe I didn't see iron. I thought there was some iron right over here, but I guess I was mistaken. Yeah, there are so many different paths off this tunnel. Okay, well, it looks like it's come to an end, although a bit of a strange looking end in itself. That's one route finished up. Nothing really valuable off this one, so we'll try going down one of these other ones, because, yeah, there are still two other branches to take. This one, oh, another dead end. Well, at least they don't go too far off, so we don't have many multiple branches. Oh, this one ends right here, but it does end with something quite nice to find. Very nice to find. There we are. Oh, another one there and up there. Okay, so that's all the iron there gathered. And yep, yeah, knew that was coming. Uh, you know what? Should I use the iron one? Maybe I'll make a stone one, because I feel like the iron one would be better saved. Well, actually, no. We have a lot of iron ore on us. Yeah, we have 21 pieces, so you know what? We will start using this one. Just gather up more coal, because we're always going to need more torches. And just get all that out of here, and then we'll head back and start figuring out which way we want to go next through this little area. Then we'll take our bounty home, start smelting it down, and see where we're sitting for things. I get sidetracked very easily, though. This was originally just about going out to try to find the wool for the bed, and the wood to make our digging tunnel not look quite as shabby. Okay, now what about up here? Ah, do, do, do. Well, we'll have to deal with these guys first, so you know what, we might as well... Out. Okay, there are a number of you guys. I just want to make sure there aren't more that I'm not seeing. Out. Yeah, it sounds like there are quite a bit more, so I don't exactly want to bite off more than I can choose. We're going to take our withdraw now because we did get the iron. And what's our way back? Okay. Oh, actually, this is our way out right here. Although, again, do another path like this. 
This one really takes you all over. Oh, nothing really down this one of value. I guess we can snag a little bit more coal and then we'll make our way for the exit again. Snag all this up. And then we'll be able to bring all of our goodies back. Have a lot more torches ready. I also need to remember to keep looking up on the ceiling sometimes too. That's one thing I think I forget to do a lot in Minecraft is I forget that the ceiling can even sometimes have like blocks of iron or or hidden up there that you just don't see because you're so used to digging down. Okay, and this should be the way out through here. Just hoping that it's not super... No, no, again, I feel like I'm seeing the... I want iron, so I feel like I'm seeing the color when we're going around. Oh, nice big area of coal, though. However, I do hear a skeleton. I'll just try to get this and then we'll just watch for when daylight arrives, because I don't think it'll take too long before we see that. Okay, all that's snagged and gathered up. And anything we could craft or want to craft? Not particularly. But we got the two big iron things we want. Um, I mean, we could, I suppose, cook up the meats. So might not... All right, we gotta go down to the workbench to make the furnace again. Just get that out of there. Do, 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 do. Okay, so put all that in. I think two pieces of coal. One might even be enough. I can't remember what the... F I think it's something like one piece of coal will be enough to convert eight pieces of iron into ingots. Okay, I'm not entirely sure on there, but at least this will give us something to kind of kill times for waiting for daylight. Just because, again, we don't really have the bed made, I don't want to risk us dying and losing all of our loot. It kind of suck if we come this far for nothing. I haven't really seen anywhere else really super worth digging. Wait, is this... Oh, okay, this is where it all connects back to. Well, just so nothing gets lured into falling into the pit. We're not going to stay out in the open there for too long. Oh. Drop there. So, right, this is where we want. And up here. Yeah, it does seem one bit of coal will do eight pieces. So, that's pretty good to have. Chuck that in there next. Let's take a look and see what time of day it is. It still looks like it's pretty dark from the... Yeah, it's still going to be a little bit longer. So we'll just get these, prepare ourselves for the little trek home. Hopefully find a sheep on the way, because I think two sheep will be enough to give us the wool we need for the bed. And I don't want to smelt the iron here. I'd prefer to save that for home, just because... Then we know it's guaranteed somewhere safe and we won't lose it. Yeah, we'll take these with us. It doesn't hurt just to have a little bit of, like, a crafting kit with you. And Minecraft makes it super easy to take it along as well. That's one of the nice things about Minecraft is it's very easy to set yourself up with new bases or new places to kind of build and just get stuff done or gather from. Take a look. Oh, okay, actually, nothing immediately around us, surprisingly. I'm just gonna try to get some more wood. Oh, we actually are full up on space, aren't we? Ah, uh, you know what? We'll leave the bone and the sapling behind. I'd rather try to get ourselves the. Yeah, there's the wood there. There we go. And we can even take the 
Oh, we actually got both back. Okay. So it'd be nice if we could see the sun start coming out. Then I'll burn all them away. Then we can make our way back for base. Again, try to get the wool. Although, actually, for that, we're probably going to need to get rid of the sapling. Yeah, we'll just plunk you down right there. And just basically got to wait out the day again. This is the only part of Minecraft where... It's why I want to dig down, so that way the nights were so kind of boring, or we could actually make progress in another way. The only issue, though, is until we get the bed, we are out of our house, so we can't really do too much about that. Man, how long does night last? I forgot that it can take so long to change on over. It really feels like the nights are longer than the days, but that might just be because you get so used to working or going out at the start of the day that it switches over much sooner than you'd expect. Oh, no, wait, you're not the way out. And us getting lost down here won't help with that either. Okay. Oh, there's the little drop. And this is the stair... Well, basically the stairway out of here. It does sound like there's another area right up there where they're all basically stuck around. Yeah, I thought we heard one of you guys pretty close. There we go. Yeah, plant these around, I suppose. Okay, I also have to try to figure out which direction actually is home to. Because we have... Oh, is that a sh I think that's a sheep. Oh, no, that's... Oh, yeah, it is. Perfect. Uh, shears, we need that. Come here, you. We need your wool. Don't run away. That's all. And actually, is that... Yes, that's enough for a bed, so I think we'll actually... Try getting this one here, too. And, oh, Enderman nearby, but I don't think they're hostile until we attack. It's you. Oh, we're coming at us from all sides in the mushroom area. Okay, well, there's that, those done. So if we can make it back home, open up, and close up, we can build the bed, and I, there might not actually be a point in sleeping because of how late into the night it is, but... Just try not to get slowed down by the marsh here. Yeah, there's our place. Actually not that far away once we really start running to it. Ooh, but I think we're going to have a number of followers on our way over there. Well, maybe not. I thought some things would have been more attracted, but either way, we can open up and close up. Okay, iron, you can go in there, and we'll do... Ah, four should be enough for that. Let's make ourselves a bed. And we'll probably put you... I guess right there is a good enough spot for it. Okay, uh, what else can we put away? Well, we don't need the flesh, the leather, the gunpowder right now. Uh, we'll probably keep the crafting table and the smelter with us. I might actually make another bed just so wherever we go, we can quickly change it today if we want. Okay, so that was like that. What else? Ah, you know what? We'll get rid of the wood tools because they're going to be pretty useless. Get rid of the one bow. Nah, keep that, 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 that. And the shears we'll put away too, because we shouldn't need them anymore now that we got the first bed. So respawn point is set. And everything is looking rather okay then. We do have some clearing out to do along here though, so... Maybe we'll start with a bit of that before we end the episode off, just so that way it's... Ah, shoot. Yeah, I just want to see about making this a little easier to go down as well. There we go. 
One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, 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 two. Okay, you'll take those and just put them, yeah, just put these down so that way it's, oh shoot, hang on, I gotta take care of that. Oh, god darn it, I am messing this up. Okay, so it comes down here, so then this needs to be a thing of stairs instead. Yes, and then this is supposed to be stairs. Oh, actually, I forgot I didn't even have a torch there. Okay, there we go. So that's pretty straightforward as it's supposed to be. And then this will be stairs, and this stairs, and then this will be more stairs, and we're finally down to the proper spot we want to be for it all. And I don't know what we're actually going to use as our landmark for how deep is deep enough. Because I... I don't know if we should go until we hit, like, bedrock, or if we hear lava, or just if we find a random cave system. I well, we probably should have figured that out before I started digging all the way this far down, but at least the out The materials might be helpful. Just basically got rained on by a bit of gravel there. Oh, I do hear lava, so... Maybe we'll make ourselves a bit of a landing here. And then we'll branch off slowly and expand and see what else we can find. Also helps that we found a coal vein too. Because where there's lava, there could be diamonds. We just have to be careful that we don't ac accidentally fall into lava or mine anything that falls into the lava. Okay, so I think it should just be... Uh oh. No, no, why are you... God, the placement of these is sometimes so stupid, too. Okay, yes, we are a little bit of... short in the stairs, but we can make... This is why we bring this down with us, because we have a place even to put them down. Plunk that there, and just make up a few more stairs. Okay, now if all is correct... There we go. So we've got our basic stairway down into the very depths for if we want to mine and expand and see what we can find way down down here. I do see a few areas we got to do a bit more mining just to make some headroom. But with those, it should be pretty nice and easy to... Oh yeah, I figured we'd see those drop as well. There we are, so we got ourselves a nice base to work off of. Oh! And a nice find right off the bat, too. Some more iron. Okay, snag these up. Hello! We actually found ourselves a goodie, too. Okay, let's, I guess, use a bit of andesite. Uh, you know what? Let me make a door first. And we found ourselves another abandoned mine shaft, so these must not be as rare as I thought they might. Because that's really good to find. Alright, you know what? Let me take those. We'll take that. I uh, don't need a button. Those. Take. There we go.
Yeah, so we'll take this up and we're basically next episode we're going to properly explore the mine shaft. So that should be interesting to see what we can find in there. Probably going to be quite a bit of iron, but we also have to be careful about those venomous spiders because those guys are really annoying. Put the iron in, we put the andesite, that. Oh yeah, I guess we can put some of that in. So that actually will, oh, and we'll put the doors in too, why not? So we'll wrap this episode here. Thank you guys very much for joining me on another episode of Minecraft. It is down to once a week, but I just, because Horizon Zero Dawn's out and it's, I'm kind of hyped to be able to play it. That's why we're slimming down Minecraft. It's a nice, lazy series we can sort of do in chunks and bits. So if you guys do just like watching Minecraft get played, this is a good spot as any to watch. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching and hopefully I'll catch you in the next episode or video. Please remember as always, survivors, to take care and stay alive.